From Edge TV's World News Headquarters in Bathurst, New Brunswick, this is The Way We See It with Paul Chapman. Hi, I'm Paul Chapman with an Edge TV News update on the developing story from Bathurst City Hall. Bathurst City Council recently reversed its controversial decision to fly the Anglo Society flag at City Hall on September the 18th. The Anglo flag, which was dreamt up in a fever of Anglo outrage after getting turned down for a loan at the Cast Populaire, is described by the Anglo Society of New Brunswick as representing Anglo culture. The four councillors shown here who voted in favour of waving the flag in the face of Acadians from the steps of the City Hall reluctantly reversed their decision after Bathurst City Police reported public riots. Councillor Graham Wiseman, who never supported the Anglo flag flying in the first place, reported he suffered no consequence in the English community for a stand. The councillor who was rumoured to be running for mayor reportedly said, it was just another typical day at Tim Hortons for me. Councillor Anne-Marie Gammon, the only other councillor who voted against the flag, said, quote, Hey, at a recent barbecue at the Union Hall, the Tet Carey were patting me in the back for my position. Joining me by phone today to discuss the most recent developments and speaking for the Anglo culture is Thank you for joining me, uh, I mean, Happy to be here. My first question to you is, why do you hate French people so much? See there, Mr. Chapman, you've got it all wrong. We don't hate French people any less than we hate them black people or them Jews. We just think, as the majority, the Anglo culture needs to be promoted like the Acadian culture. I'm glad you bring that up, Mr. When you say Anglo culture, are you referring to the Anglo-Saxons of the early 5th century AD that were made up of Germanic tribes in the south and east of Great Britain? who created the English nation up to the Norman Conquest of 1066. Huh? I don't know anything about any guy named Norman, but those Germans sure knew how to solve their problems. So, Mr. what other things are you doing to promote Anglo culture in New Brunswick? Well, just to show that we're not prejudiced against just one people, I wanted to meet all the people I'm not prejudiced against, so I've traveled the world to meet all the different groups. I was welcomed by the powerful black people, the powerful Jews, and even the separatists. And they all agree that it's an, an Anglos are a special breed all of themselves. In other words, a unique culture. Okay. Do Anglos have any plans to find a way to bring the two linguistic groups together? Funny you should mention that. Now here in northern New Brunswick, we Anglos have a special project underway to help the Acadians. Down in Caraquette right now, there are plans underway to get into shipbuilding, and we have some plans drawn up to build a big boat. And the next time the Acadians get together, I think it's August 15th, we're going to squeeze as many as we can on the boat and give them a free boat ride. Well, thank you very much, Mr. That is... Uh, a wrap for that and we thank you for joining this Edge TV news update and catch us next time and that's the way we see it.